Everyone, welcome to the Body Beat Down. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? Doing well, thank you for asking. Body Beat Down here on a Sunday morning, late morning. Getting a walk in. I feel a little bit better today than I did yesterday. Yesterday I was just really tired, drained feeling for whatever reason. Sometimes we have those days. Beautiful day here in West Tennessee. Very sunny and warm. It's not real humid though. The humidity is what gets you. So, you know, I look, I watch a lot of videos on working out and I read a lot of the comments. And uh, you get a lot of people saying some crazy things. And one of the biggest trends, the biggest words to throw around these days is ego lifting. Ego, not eagle, ego lifting. And people just throw that term around because they've heard the term it's kind of like everybody calling someone over the age of 40 a boomer a lot of young people do that it's not how old you are it's when you were born <laughs> that determines your gen I'm gen X the best on the planet I stand by that but People like to say you're ego lifting for a couple of reasons. And that is, one, they don't lift heavy. Maybe they don't want to lift heavy or they're scared to lift heavy. Someone told them not to lift heavy. And so, if you lift anything over a 50 pound dumbbell, you're ego lifting. Then you got those people out there that are weaker than you and that have to explain things away. They have to explain that by saying that you're ego lifting because you're lifting heavier than they are. Which means you're also stronger than they are. Some people can't handle that. So, you got to be ego lifting. And then you got those people out there that are constantly claiming you're going to get hurt. You're going to hurt yourself. That's not good. Your body's not meant to do that. Etc. Etc. Well, I got news for you. Squats and deadlifts most certainly are not bad for you. Those are real world movements that we use every day. Does that mean that you have to deadlift and squat 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds? No. No, it don't mean that. But if that's what people like to do, that's what they like to do. You got some people out there that's been working out for 50 years. And they've been doing these exercises. 
and you got people saying those are gonna hurt you those are gonna get you those are not good for you you know you're gonna get hurt doing those a win if someone's been working out 20 years 50 years longer and they're still going when's it gonna get them I mean is there some sort of time frame can we kind of pinpoint this then we got a couple other issues we got people like myself that work out at home we don't have people helping us and we might not have the best safety equipment such as spotter arms on our racks safety rails on a full cage etc we might not have those options and people like myself we know the risk and you try to handle things you try to think things through you try to make sure that you're hundred percent focused and you're confident and you understand your limits and the consequences and you try to keep all this in mind the entire time you're lifting there's nothing you can do about it you don't have other options now I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't worry sometimes, especially after my buddy John McBean had his accident. So yeah, things go through your mind. You think about things. We're not stupid out here. Just because we lift things up and put them down don't mean we're stupid. We're trying to live we're trying to do things we enjoy and sometimes there's a risk there's a risk with me doing this walk today I could have easily got run over easily people get run over every day when I cycled for five and a half years I'm surprised I didn't get run over and killed I almost have been a couple times not by my fault you know the stupid cyclist that always does everything wrong it was from the drivers so we can get hurt and even disabled and killed doing anything a branch could fall off this tree land on my head and kill me right now I hope it don't but it could happen so having said all that about the safety for months three years probably more than three years I've been shopping looking for the perfect cage power rack power cage power full cage whatever you would like to call them I look on marketplace I shop around online and I've turned some things away in the past and present because you know I'm just not sure if I want to put out the money See, I don't have a lot of money floating around. I'm a school bus driver, guys. I don't make a lot of money. So I have to consider that. So if I buy something, it has to be because I've saved up and I have money in my pocket. Or I'm able to finance it online like I have a couple of things now and make manageable 
small payments for a year. If I do something like that, I like to do it for a year. So, there's lots of options out there, tons. But I don't want just any option. I want something that I want. You know, I'm tired of buying things that are close enough. You know, I want something that I really want. I want to make sure that I'm happy because it's kind of a long-term investment. Your rack is one of those things that you know you really need to think about. So, for those of you out there that have questioned my lifts and talked about safety and all these different things, I know these things. I didn't just start working out yesterday or even three years ago. I've been working out since probably about 95. Not solid, off and on, like most people do, but off and on for a lot of years. I didn't totally quit working out until about late 2010, early 2011, and then I sold all my stuff. Because I knew that we were fixing to do some moving, and uh, at the time I didn't want to move all my stuff, and I wasn't thinking about it, and we were going through some things, and working out was not important to me at the time. so. This ain't my first rodeo over these last three years. I've been working out off and on in the past a lot. But, eventually, anyway, I am going to pull the plug. The, pull the plug? I don't know what you call it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. And I'm gonna get me a uh, a cage I've already talked to the wife about it of what she thinks because that's how I do I ask my wife what she thinks about things like this if I have to uh, finance something we're a team now she might not do that very often <laughs> but I do that's how I feel like you should be So, just know that I am looking into doing something, and uh, I was just going to get some spotter arms for the rack that I have, but I'm going to spend $250 just for some spotter arms, for some good ones. You can get cheap ones all day long. I don't want cheap. You don't want cheap when you're lifting hundreds of pounds. So, if I'm gonna spend $250 just on some arms, I might as well spend another $250 and get me a decent rack, decent cage. So, it's just a matter of time before I pull the trigger and I just like to Make sure I'm doing the right thing. I don't like just giving myself another, you know, monthly payment. So, anyway, guys, hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're enjoying the channel. I do try to bring a little bit of different things to my channel I don't like to just focus on lifting weights or walking or spinning on the bike if you look through my videos you look through my playlist go to the playlist you'll see that I also make a little noise on the drums sometimes I share 
maybe an art project mostly with the with my grandkids sometimes you'll see me maybe share a family event you know something you know hanging out or something you'll see me maybe prep some food what I'm eating just uh you know and you'll see me have conversations discussions and things so I try to be kind of diverse and give you a little bit of something but I try to kind of make it revolve around the health and fitness aspect to some degree speaking of which we also talk about things you know that plague many of us uh, with our mental problems such as depression anxiety I suffer pretty bad from depression and I have for over 20 years and uh, I share that openly with people because it's a very important topic that gets overlooked especially when concerning males we're not supposed to have depression we're not supposed to talk about anything like that we're just supposed to be men wake up go plow the fields come home and uh, plow the fields and uh, and uh, just be men well can't be a total man when you're a complete wreck on the inside so sometimes you you got to share that kind of information so I urge those of you that have anything like that going on leave them in the comments let people know talk about things that's what I like my community to be I like people to comment and talk about things and if you have a problem openly discussing those things send me an email m i k i e s o n 71 at gmail.com mikeyson 71 anything we talk about stays with us i've always been that way even as a kid i was that friend even in high school that you know my buddies would come to and talk to me about their girl problems I didn't have girl problems I stayed away from them why because even at that young age I knew that they were problems <laughs> so I never had a problem like that so but I knew how to talk to people I knew how to at least let them vent and uh, listen to them and uh, nothing was ever mentioned to anyone else I keep things to myself and especially now because I don't have any friends I don't have family that I talk to really so anything you got to talk about you know that can help you out that can help you vent let me know I'm here for you and we men need to be here for one another and I'm also here for the women too it's okay so I like everybody everybody has problems and we all need someone to talk to at some point so I'm almost home guys just about there and uh, I just wanted to get a walk in it's been a uh, about three weeks since I've had a good walk last one I had we were at the zoo and I walked for a good four hours and it, it wasn't fun I think it wore me out for the next two three weeks there so anyway so guys if I give you a little inspiration throughout your day your week your month your year to do something healthy for yourself inside and out please let me know in the comments and also like share subscribe comment all the good stuff to the body be down and don't forget while you're at it please Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it!